Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA 14 franchise. Did I say franchise? I mean dynasty, but you know what it is. It's the Buffalo Bulls, and this is going to be the most exciting game you'll ever see this season. We're going up against Western Michigan. They're 4-2. Uh, if, also, if you're asking JRob, what's good with your voice? Uh, I'm kind of sick, but I still want to give you that gameplay. So... Devin Campbell takes it from the five yard line, has some blocks or blockers in front of him, but ultimately only gets a 21 yard return. But that is not the last you'll see of him. So first down and ten, Joe Licata hands it off to Anthony Taylor for about nine yards right there. That's pretty damn good. So far having a great season. So Joe Licata, we're running a slant play, but the corner jumps the route. That is Atkins, who's gonna take it all the way to the house, and we're already down seven zip. That is not how we want to start the game. So, this is our first conference game. Well, our second conference game of the season. Excuse me. And Devin Campbell takes us from the five. He has blockers in front of him. But again, he only gets to the third. Oh, no. I thought he was down, but he wasn't. Relentless. Relentless. A 31-yard return. That's why you don't ever give up, kids. Go until the whistle blows. So, Joe Licata drops back. Finds Willoughby for the first down. So, first down of the game for your Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bulls. Second down and 10. Joe Licata drops back as he was under center. Finds Matt Weiser for the first down. A 12-yard reception. So, Joe Licata is definitely bouncing back from his first interception, which ended up being a pick six. And he finds Kevin Rogers, who jukes and gets the first down. And also, guys, the Panthers in real life, 13-0, baby. The first time the Panthers have ever had 13 wins in a regular season. And I love it, man. I love it. I'm a, I've been a Panthers fan since I was in second grade. I remember when they went to the NFC Championship game against the Seahawks and lost. I remember it all, boy. So, Mason Shrek caught that one. But he did get injured. So, that's kind of... It's not that scary because he's only a backup. But still... We do score as Anthony Taylor punches punches it in for the three-yard touchdown run. So Western Michigan, they run that no-huddle offense like almost every team in this game does. And I freaking hate that. I wish there was would be a new game, but these lawsuits with Ed O'Bannon and everything make it really difficult for them to make a new game. So they do complete the pass. Terrell completes the pass for about nine yards, so they have a first down. So I believe we're going to cover three. And basically, we'll cover three. If they have slant routes, you're basically done for. But we do get to Zach Terrell and sack him for negative, f <coughs> negative five yards. So Terrell drops back, finds his receiver for almost a first down. But it's going to be fourth and two as Darius Phillips caught that one. So they're going to have to settle for a field goal. And you know what? I like that stop. We stopped him. We definitely did. So they do get the field goal to go just barely, and it's raining in this game. It is raining. So 29 seconds left. This one is kicked pretty deep. No, not that deep as he fields it at the 7, and Devin Campbell has space. Devin Campbell, 30, 20, 10. Devin Campbell is going to score his first returning touchdown of the game. And I tell you, that is not the last you'll see of him. It's about damn time, you know what I'm saying? And we almost get an interception right there as Nick Gilbo deflected that one. So it's going to be fourth down and 10. Zach Terrell, he's 7 for 14. That's not too good. So 14 to 10. We're in the driver's seat right now, but we get intercepted once again. And Joe Licata got pancaked, and they do score the touchdown. That makes it a 17 to 14 game. That is not what we want. Joe Licata is not having a good game whatsoever. But he does complete the pass to Willoughby, who almost gets the first down right there. Actually, he did get the first down. So we're trying to go no huddle. We're going with the counter. Uh, the counter run really works in this game. Like, you could get seven yards a pop with this play. I'm telling you. But Anthony Taylor, he gets the first down, a 14-yard rush. So we're going shotgun right now. Joe Licata is going to find his receiver wiser for the first down and more. And, oh, I thought he was going to get up and get some extra yards, but he doesn't. But it's still... A 17-yard reception, which is still good in my book. So, three minutes left in the first half. Fine, Kevin Rogers, who jumps up and gets that one. And we're going to be in the goal in the goal line. So, first and goal, Joe Licata finds Matt Weiser for the second touchdown of the game for our offense. So, it's now 21-17. to Joe Licata drops back with a minute and 36 left in his third inner 
interception of the game. Turnovers are killing us. Even though we have thrown three interceptions, we are still in the lead, which is absolutely crazy. So we're in, our, I believe, our nickel package, and it really wasn't working as he breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and finds the end zone. Oh, no. Eric Boyden got stopped at the one. So we're going to try to, we got to try to stop them. We got to try to stop them, but it's not going to work as they do score a touchdown. So J Jarvion, Jarvion Franklin, Jarvion Franklin does score. So we're going with a 5-1-8 hook, baby. This play works like a million times. And we find Marcus McGill over the middle for about 37 yards. So a minute 13 left to go. Joe Lakata drops back, finds the receiver, lofted that one up there to Jacob Martinez. Doesn't get out of bounds, but we have two timeouts, so I'm not that worried. So 518 hook once again. We find our receiver, Matt Weiser, who does not get the first down. So it's gonna be third and two. Let's see if Joe Lakata could work the magic. So he finds Matt Weiser, but he drops it. And that was a fourth down play, too. Damn it, man. And that's basically gonna end the quarter right there. We are losing 27 to 21. Not good at all. Uh, if you're asking how they get 27, they kicked another field goal and it was good. So, we went to the half with four turnovers, and turnovers are definitely killing us, but we are still in this game, and oh my god, Jarvie and Franklin breaks like three tackles for a 16-yard rush, and Western Michigan, they get the first down, and also Western Michigan has been controlling the ball for the majority of this game, and we have to stop them. I told you, our defense is not that good. The bright spot is our offense and special teams. Our defense is terrible because I hate that 3-4 defense. I, I'd rather get a 4-3, but uh, next season you'll definitely see a change. I tweaked the whole playbook for the defense. So it's going to be a different culture for our defense. So hopefully you guys can look forward to that. But they do score right there. Jarvie and Franklin has been eating us up. That is not good. And usually when I play football games, my rush defense is always good. But I, I never really had a 3-4 defense. So that's one of the problems. So Western Michigan is up 34 to uh, 21. But look who's finding space. That is Devin Campbell. Devin Campbell. The 20. The 10. Another touchdown for Devin Campbell. Another one as DJ Kelly would say. Damn. He is, he is the best returner in the country. Without a doubt. So Jarvie and Franklin breaks one tackle. Got one man to beat. Eric Berry. Stops him. We are getting toasted, toasted in the run game so far. We have no answer. So Zach Terrell drops back the pass. Going to find his receiver, Davis. But that is not a first down. So it's fourth and four, third quarter, two minutes and 13 seconds left. So I'm thinking, hey, they're going to punt it. No, what the fuck? So I'm like, yo, aren't what? This game's cheating me, right? That's what I'm thinking. So it's fourth and four. Uh, Zach Terrell has plenty of time. That's why I hate this 3-4 defense. And he finds his receiver, Darius Phillips, for the first down. The computer really caught me off guard with that. So third and four. He throws it away. So it's going to be fourth and four. So what easily could have been a punt is now going to turn into a field goal. And they are most likely going to go up by nine points. And that is not what we want because that still makes it a two-possession game. So we got to work extra hard if we want to win this game. So look at the Bronco. Half his arms are missing, but it's okay. So Joe Licata drops back to pass as he was in shotgun. Finds the receiver McGill again for the first down. McGill's having a pretty damn good day so far. I really like that out of him. So we're going to try to hit this screen. If this screen don't work, I'm going to get tight. And we find Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor got blockers, and he gets the first down a 12 yard reception 518 hook you guys already know you guys already know what I find Martinez for the first down and we're in the red zone so you guys know what we about to do Anthony Taylor he gets some blockers finds the 10 yard line as he gets the first down now that's 10 yard rush Anthony Taylor doing good so far so we're doing a play action F slide I think that's the name of the play I use it like a million times in video games and we find Kevin Rogers for the touchdown you do not hear his name a lot but this game he has been called upon so it is fourth quarter four minutes and four seconds left to go we're down by two 
that I'm about to remember that. And we do stop them as it is third and one. So we have to get a stop. We need to get a stop. I want to get the ball back. I want to get the ball back. But we do not stop Jarvie and Franklin. He has just been eating us alive the whole game. So it is third and six. And he throws it away. Zach Terrell has not thrown a single passing touchdown. It's all been Jarvie and Franklin. And their cornerback scoring uh, pick sixes. So they do get the field goal. So we're down by five. So a touchdown could definitely win this game. And this is the play where you might think it's a great job. But it's really a terrible job by me. So Devin Campbell gets it from the three. Has blockers in front of him. Comes off of one guy. He is going to go all the way. But this is me trying to say no way. I got I to gotta kill the clock. I got to kill the clock. I, tr I try to get tackled. You see me trying to get tackled. But it does not work, and we score, and that was the worst thing I could have ever have done. So I have to go for two so I can make it at least a three-point game. So 2.22 left to go. We do convert to Jacob Martinez, who gets the three-yard reception for the two-point conversion. So 132 left for the Broncos, and the Broncos find Darius Phillips. Uh, excuse me, at Kendrick Roberts as they score. So I say, you know what? I have to give up a touchdown because now we're down by four. So we can't win by a field goal. So hopefully Devin Campbell could give us some more magic in this exciting game. Has blockers. Almost juked out that guy, but he's not going to get it. So we got to see a minute 15 left to go. Two timeouts left, and we get intercepted by Stone Davis. And that's going to be all she wrote, folks. Five turnovers are the reason why we lost this game. 43-47, to 47, one of the most exciting games I've ever had. It's all on me. I wish I, I really should have stopped Devin Campbell so we could have had a chance to win the game. It, it, it's, all, it's all on my part. But we lose our second conference game. It was a really exciting game. Andrew Haddleham gets player of the game for us. I mean, for the Western Michigan Broncos. But yeah, Joe Licata, four interceptions will not get the job done. Anthony Taylor did not have a great day either. But anyway, it has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.